Good evening. Last week, the Reagan administration ordered all Libyan diplomats to leave the United States in five days, and last night they left. Officially, the United States government charged Libya with, quote, a general pattern of unacceptable conduct. Off the record, U.S. officials made a lengthy indictment of Libyan efforts to foment international terrorism by funding, training, and arming a wide variety of terrorist movements. The U.S. also condemned Libya's invasion and occupation of the neighboring country of Chad and blamed the Libyan government for the murders of dissident Libyans living abroad. Privately, the United States government is also worried about the close relations between Libya and the Soviet Union, resulting in large-scale Soviet arms supplies to Libya. So far, Libyan reaction to the diplomats' expulsion has been muted. One weapon in her grasp is oil. Libya is the third largest supplier of U.S. oil imports, representing 4.5% of U.S. consumption, or half a million barrels a day. Tonight, we talk directly to the man in charge of Libya, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, speaking by satellite from his office outside Tripoli, the Libyan capital. Jim? Robin, Colonel Gaddafi holds no official title as Libya's chief of state. He's known only as the leader of the great 1st of September revolution. That is the revolution of 1969, when he and a group of other young army officers overthrew the then king of Libya and established a new Libyan Arab Republic. His rule of Libya, a nation of three million people that is 92% desert, has brought him very mixed, starkly contrasting reviews. To his supporters, he's a visionary, attempting to forge a united Arab front based on Islamic principles and his own so-called Green Book, a new international theory as an alternative to capitalism and communism. But to his detractors, he's a menace, a maniac, a supporter and exporter of terrorism, murder, and revolution. One point of information about our interviewing him tonight, in exchange for Colonel Gaddafi's agreeing to have it conducted in English without a translator, we agreed to submit our major questions in writing in advance. That was with the proviso, of course, that spontaneous follow-up questions be permitted. But here again, in order to eliminate the need for translation, we have agreed to try and keep them as simple and short as possible. Robin? Colonel Gaddafi, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. What kind of relationship do you want now with the United States? Anyhow, I want a normal relationship with the United States uh, as any other relation with any other state in the world, particularly uh, the relationship with any big power like uh, Soviet Union or other uh, other uh, big states in the world, just a uh, world. Do you consider your relations normal now with the United States? No, of course it is not normal. How do you expect your relations to change uh, with the expulsion of your diplomats? First of all, we have no diplomats. It is a uh, popular bureau formed by uh, the Libyan people. I, I didn't sign any paper uh, regarding this uh, bureau. I didn't appoint any one of them. They have chosen by the people them itself. Uh, they are not diplomats. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the masses uh, that formed this uh, people bureau we form another one in America. We have thousands of students in the United States of America. I think they will form a new one instead of this uh, closed bureau. It is the responsibility of the masses because the is uh, the authority is in the hand of the people itself. So you don't consider the men who have been expelled by the United States as diplomats? No, we have no diplomats in the world at all after the authority of the people uh, since uh, 1977 when the authority of the people uh, took place in that uh, time. We have no government, no ministries, no ministry of uh, foreign affairs, no minister of foreign affairs. It, here in Tripoli also there is a, a popular committee uh, which is uh, responsible for the foreign affairs and it is a link between uh, the people, the Libyan people and the other states and peoples in the, in the world. It is not uh, official uh, 
uh, department. Colonel, what kind of retaliation can the United States expect for the expulsion? I don't expect it now anything because it is not a serious uh, step. We lost nothing. Uh, it is only uh, it, it is uh, it, it, it is uh, not a reasonable step uh, from United States of America against a state like my country, and uh, there is no uh, justification uh, to expel this uh, popular bureau from your country because it is to, to link a good relationship between Libyan people and American uh, people. And uh, the government of America has no right to uh, cross this uh, popular bureau. Uh, I think it, uh, it is against the interests uh, of uh, United, America, uh, United States of America itself, not against my country. I am not nervous, I am very quiet, very calm now, uh, but uh, I am sorry to see big power like America uh, behave his uh, childish behavior like this and uh, John Finale, John Finale or childish uh, behavior like this. Uh, it is not suitable for uh, big power like America to do this. So you do not intend then to use oil as a weapon of retaliation? It is another matter. Oil is uh, our, and it is a weapon in our uh, hands. Uh, we have the full right to use it uh, when it is necessary. But it's not necessary now, in your opinion? It is due to, to the Libyan people itself uh, through the uh, basic popular congresses. They may discuss this matter and decide what is uh, suitable and what is right. Robin? Uh, uh, Colonel, Colonel Gaddafi, there are some 200, uh, 2,000 Americans living in Libya. Can you assure their safety and freedom, or should they now leave your country? No, they are our guests, and uh, they are people who are, who are helping uh, us, and we are co cooperating with them for mutual interests between Libya and America, and uh, nothing will happen to them uh, until uh, the uh, situation uh, deteriorated. I, uh, I hope it will not uh, be so. Uh, now, we, uh, I think nothing will be uh, towards these uh, people who are here now. We are not like uh, America. We, have, uh, we are wise. We have uh, uh, responsibility towards others and towards the world. We are a nation of civilization, not like uh, America. We behave uh, very... Uh, very uh, calm and rightful, uh, and I think nothing will hurt them. You say, until the situation deteriorates, what did you mean by that? Deter deteriorates in what way? It is uh, in the side of America. May, may United States of America deteriorate is, uh, itself the situation by any uh, new childish uh, manner, childish uh, behavior uh, like uh, what uh, is happening uh, now because uh, this step of uh, closing our popular bureau in America, it is uh, without any justification. It is unreasonable uh, action. And uh, according to this, America might do uh, some uh, steps like this, uh, which is uh, not uh, responsible uh, action. Are you expecting some further action by the United States against you? I'll repeat, uh, I'll repeat that question. Are you expecting some further action by the United States against you? 
No one can expect it what the United States of America can do because the policy of America is not a reasonable policy. It is, uh, it is out of any international responsibility. Uh, and I think that America has no right to do anything against my country because uh, we do what is uh, right, what is justice, what is our right to, to do. Colonel, you are anti-communist. How do you explain your close relationship then with the Soviet Union? <laughs> it is not necessary if I am not a communist uh, that my relation will be bad with the uh, Soviet Union. My relation is very good with the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union is uh, our friend. And uh, uh, I am not a communist, not a capitalist. I am socialist, Jamahiri, progressive. Uh, I, I, I don't see any contradiction between uh, between uh, my good relationship with the United States, uh, with the Soviet Union, and um, because I am not a communist. Do you share? Yes. I was going to ask you. If I you, was going to ask if you. You shared the Soviet Union's basic political goals in the world. In the world. Pardon. Would you repeat please this yes, question? Sir. Do you share the Soviet Union's basic political goals in the world? Yeah, as I said. Huh? Yeah. Let me ask it another way. The Soviet, are you and the Soviet Union, do you and the Soviet Union agree uh, in political terms as to what uh, the future of the world should hold? Oh, I say I understand, understand you know. No, um, sometimes we agree about some uh, international um, matters, and sometimes we disagree because uh, Soviet Union is Soviet Union, and Libya is uh, Libya. Every one of us uh, has his uh, own interests and uh, has uh, his own strategy in the world, and his uh, different. Uh, policy and social system and political system, which is different also. But he is our friend, besides of all this. Is the, we have read the figure here in the United States that you have purchased $12 billion in arms from the Soviet Union. Is that correct, sir? I don't know exactly the number, but is it true or not? But anyhow, we buy. Uh, weapons from Soviet Union and from other countries like uh, Britain, Italy and uh, France and uh, China and other, uh, other countries. It's been suggested that, that many of those arms that you have bought have been placed there as a kind of staging area for the Soviet Union. Is that true? <laughs> No, of course it is not uh, true. We 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 uh, have uh, weapons uh, only for defense for our service, and uh, these weapons uh, are not enough now for uh, sufficient defense. Uh, we need more weapons uh, to defend our uh, country, and uh, we will not allow uh, Soviet Union to store any weapons for he for it uh, in my uh, country. We refuse uh, such things. M military commentators say that you already have far more arms and tanks and planes than your army of 40,000 men could possibly ever use. Use. <laughs> we, uh, we have armed people. We are, we are going now to... Uh, to get rid of the regular army. The regular army will disappear in this Jamahiri society, in Jamahiria, the, the, the state of masses. 
the state of masses will have no regular army, no government. Now there is no government and the regular army will disappear. Therefore, we need weapons for the people, the armed people. Every citizen must have weapon, not in his house, but in the store. And uh, he need it in time of uh, defense for his... Uh, defense, defense, defense from what, Colonel Gaddafi? Against whom, you mean? Against whom, yes. Against any enemy uh, who might attack my country, might attack my people. And my people must be armed and be ready uh, to uh, face any uh, aggression. How do you answer charges that Libya is involved in promoting and supporting and training international terrorists? This accusation without any uh, justification, also no evidence uh, that uh, we support or promote uh, uh, terrorism. We are against the terrorism, absolutely, and uh, we should a uh, law, very severe law, against uh, any terrorist action. Uh, therefore, we are absolutely against uh, terrorism. But uh, now we must uh, clarify the meaning of, uh, of terrorism. What is that terrorism? We, we consider uh, the manufacturing of, uh, of nuclear weapon is a terrorist action and uh, establishing foreign military bases in the land of others. It is also terrorism and then make people suffering from uh, fam uh, to keep uh, food for them. Uh, it is also tourism and uh, hijacking airplanes and uh, uh, this is uh, honest uh, people uh, uh, to be victim for this action, it is also terrorism, but it is a very small, very small one uh, in the comparison of the uh, the big uh, action of terrorism, uh, which is America is doing now by treating others by its fleets, uh, by its bases, uh, by famine people is uh, keeping wheat, uh, not to sell and to give to the. Uh, to the poor uh, people, and so on. It is frequently reported that, uh, let me list some of the places you are said to have given uh, assistance to, some of the so-called terrorists, and ask if, if it's true. Did you not train and later give sanctuary to the terrorists who attacked the Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympics? Well, no, we have... Um, yeah, we haven't any relation with this uh, with this uh, accident, uh, and uh, we heard about it in the media, as you heard. But you deny that. No, we have no intention or no decision to do such bad thing is uh, which is uh, consider uh, considered. Uh, as a terrorism, but uh, we support the, uh, ra the, the struggle of uh, the peoples for the freedom, for the independence, uh, like the people of Palestine. We support its a struggle because, because it is just a cause. Do you give, just do you, excuse me, do you give support to the Irish Republican Army? No, no support, no material support, but a uh, spiritual one. We, yes, uh, we consider it is, uh, it is, it is just a cause, because uh, Ireland is Ireland and Britain is a Britain. Uh, the existence of Britain in this uh, place is uh, colonization. Uh, 
and uh, our evidence is the struggle which is going now severely in this uh, area and this uh, this uh, this uh, leaders of the Irish army who are dying now of hunger in the jail for this cause. They, they, they have cause, they have justice cause. They want to be independent. Did you send support to the Italian Red Brigades? No, we are against the Red Brigades and uh, we consider them uh, a group, uh, a terrorist group, in fact. To the guerrillas in El Salvador? No, it is far from us, and uh, we support the people of Salvador. We hope uh, these people will succeed uh, to restore its uh, stability and uh, dignity and uh, freedom. We support the people, but uh, no relationship uh, between us and these uh, people. It is uh, far from us, and we have no, nothing to do with it now. It has also been charged, Colonel, that your government has sent killer squads to assassinate Libyans living abroad, of whom 11 have been killed. Is that true? First of all, we have no government. Uh, there are some few people, Libyan people, um, who, who are royal, royal ones, and uh, they got... Uh, big quantities of money and uh, got out this money belonged to the Libyan people and they uh, did uh, some crimes against uh, their country and they support now the uh, foreign intelligence uh, against the security of Libya and therefore the refugee committees uh, they hold a court refugee court made decision and decided uh, to punish some of them they will be they will be judged to death or sentenced to death or something like this. Uh, there are very yeah. few people. It is according uh, to the judge of this, uh, the judgment of this uh, revolutionary court. Do you support that effort? Is it clear? Excuse me, is it a clear? Is the answer is it clear? Yes, I was just wondering if you personally supported that. I noticed that you said some time ago that uh, you ordered Libyan exiles to return home or they would be executed. I assume that you support this effort to execute these people then. No, I didn't say like uh, this. Uh, I told them to, they must come back to be uh, safety, to, to be safety, yes. Otherwise, I can't protect them uh, aboard. Therefore, the refugee committees maybe after them and they may uh, eliminate them. Uh, therefore, I, uh, I declare that uh, if you come back to your country, you will be safety, safe or safety. I guarantee you, but outside, no one can protect you. That I, I, uh, I did, I declared. The FBI, the FBI here in the United States, Colonel, says that your government was behind the attempted assassination of a man here in our state of Colorado, a Libyan exile. Is that true? It was an attempted assassination. The man lived. I don't, it is, I don't think it is true, and I didn't hear about this accident. Um, uh, but uh, I can assure that uh, no one will be killed outside uh, without uh, justice and revolutionary trial. Colonel Gaddafi, many countries in Africa and in Europe are worried that your armed military intervention in the neighboring country of Chad 
means that you plan to annex Chad and maybe the Niger and other countries in your enlarged uh, Libyan pan-Islamic republic. What are your aims in Africa? We have no plan uh, towards this, uh, this area. Uh, we want stability, independence, uh, progression for all these uh, continental and for all these uh, countries, uh, particularly in Africa, it is uh, our continental. continental. Um, we have no other uh, intention uh, towards this area. Why did you say when your troops went into Chad that Chad was part of Libya's needed living space? No, it is not true. I said the security of a Chad, uh, it, it, uh, it touches the security of Libya, of course. Uh, but we sent our troops to Chad in accordance with a um, mutual defense, ag defend, ag defense, yes, agreement of defense between us and the national government of Chad and according to the request of this government to help it for stability and for peace. Yes, and my troops put an end for a civil war which continued about 20 years. And now this civil war ended. And now Chad is living in peace and security, and then now is turning to build uh, its uh, self after uh, stopping I'm, this war. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, Colonel Qaddafi, our time for this interview is up. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, from Tripoli, Libya this evening. Good night. And thank you, Jim. Good night. Good night, Robin. That's all for tonight. We will be back tomorrow night. I'm Robert McNeil. Good night.